Hi there, in this video I want to show you something that happened to me the other day. I was about to have a meeting with a client and I logged on to my Teams and when I got there it was very very glitchy. So I was thinking why is it so glitchy? Was, is it because I've just updated my laptop or what's the problem? Then I realized that there is a trick that I have to perform if I wanted to unfreeze my camera in particular, look at what happens. So in this video, I'm going to show you the trick that I use to ensure that your camera on Teams doesn't get glitchy. Let's take a look at what happened. So I logged onto my Teams through the Outlook. So I clicked on uh, the Teams from Outlook and I went on and I opened, I'm just gonna open a, you know, uh, a meeting that I have. So let's take a look. I'm going to say join. And then first of all, the camera doesn't come on for ages. And when I try to switch it on, when it eventually comes on, um, yeah, you see it's dragging, it's slow. It's not necessarily showing quite well. And let's see what happens um, when it eventually does come on see how long it's taking for a start right okay so look at how it's done my face <laughs> look i'm actually waving my hands but it's not waving it yet because it's not ready okay now it's waving my hands so that does it just didn't work and i was wondering what is going on what can i do differently and then i found a trick so what you need to do so i'm going to come out of this now you need to first of all go to Microsoft and download the app. So you go on to Microsoft, you download the app, stay with um, the first um, result that comes up and I will download it here. Anyway, once you download, you install, then whenever you want to have a meeting, type in Teams. And here's the point, whatever happens, um, whether it's because the Teams recognizes that you have already opened your Outlook, so it's going to try to uh, connect both together. But if that doesn't happen, if it doesn't open the calendar, for example, this should open my calendar, let's see. Yeah, it does open my calendar. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, then what it would do, let me go back here. What it would do is that it will open up for you uh, let me let me type in Teams. What it would do is that it would open up um, a page that says, "Oh, do you want to connect to your existing um, email?" So you can connect to your existing email that way. So whichever one opens, just make sure you connect to your Teams via this app that you've already installed onto your laptop. So again, we go to open, it's given me um, my calendar. So I click on join. And as you can see, uh, it's so effective, it's working already. Everything is fine. I don't have to uh, jiggy around with stuff. I don't have to uh, wonder whether it's gonna glitch. No, it's not gonna glitch, it's fine. It's working well. Um, that's the way to avoid your teams glitching or your camera not working simply because you have logged in from Outlook itself. No, you need to log in through the app that you've downloaded onto your computer. So that's how to do it. If you want any more information, please contact me. Do like this video, promote this video, and let's get people out of trouble just as it got me out of trouble. All right then, talk to you soon. Thank you.